A bittersweet moment. Our colleague and good friend Bruce Lashan is winding down his career after 28 years at WUSA 9. Unbelievable. Right? His reporting has a tremendous impact on countless lives across D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Yeah, we say winding down, but this is it. This is this is the last day. This is, no, I'm, I'm going home. Oh <laughs> Look at that this smile. Look at Actually, that. Actually, we're going to go to a party. Everybody's invited <laughs> yeah. after this. He turned in all of his stuff. This is it. I mean, listen, the, the, the legacy that you leave behind here, the longevity, uh, the stamina, the work ethic, everything that you've put forward here at WSA 9 is something to be cherished and definitely valued. And, and tonight, we want to we wanna just thank you. That's right. Thank you. And here's how we're going to do it, okay? Yeah. So Stephanie Wilson and Larry Sindas uh, put this piece to showcase your time in the DMV as a true reporter. Bruce Lashan. Bruce Lashan. Mr. Bruce Lashan, I like saying your name. Union officials have a simple response to that argument. The year 1995, and this young reporter at the Supreme Court, Bruce Lashan, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Hired from a Baltimore station. Nobody knew who Channel 45 was until you got there. And then uh, you did a great job there, and they brought you to Channel 9. Investigators say a couple who just happened to be driving by actually saw Claudia's killer. Was working hard. The suspect stuck a gun in the face of the driver of this car, forced him out. To gather the facts, to deliver the news to viewers with his stellar storytelling. You give him anything and he can turn it around and make it special. I can think of so many stories where I work with you, Bruce, and I thought to myself, man, he is good. He knows how to get to the heart of the story. You always get the well-written facts from Bruce, the who, what, when, where, why, and how. Youngblood fed her daughters sleeping pill gummies in 2018 at her McLean apartment. I don't know how many times I've watched a Bruce Lachan story and you're just left speechless. You are a reporter's reporter in the sense of not only getting the story, but also understanding the impact of it. Bruce is a journeyman journalist who has spent decades mastering his craft, covering breaking news as it happens. You see it, you know, you have this pile here, you have another pile there. The big stories. Well, he could take away just enough votes to, to deny Gore the presidency. To the charge of capital murder in the commission of an act of terror, guilty, Mohammed bit his lip. How did, could you bring yourself to pull the trigger on your own husband? I slept. About war. They hate Putin as much as you do. Absolutely. Social strife. More than a dozen ministers from across the DC region with a message to activists and allies alike. Even soul stirring news. Ready? One, two, three, let's go. You don't become an educator <laughs> to get a Grammy. Co workers say it's a testament to his work ethic. You are among the best to have ever done it here at Channel 9. A great example of what excellence in a newsroom um, looks like every single day. And point to his passion for caring about the people in this Washington community. You get me involved in the lives of the people you've met. You are the real deal. You have changed lives. You've made an impact. I want to thank you for representing us in the union all those years. That's not a great job. I can't thank you enough for constantly teaching us how to be great journalists. These days, Bruce works as a one-man band, a multimedia journalist, shooting, editing, and transmitting the final product to microwave for air during the newscasts. You did it all so successfully with your editing and your photography skills. But the thing I like most was the Bruce Lachan selfie stick. The most frightening thing, the carjackings. You embraced all of these changes and had an amazing long career. And I got you to thank for me carrying all this stuff. Bruce Lachan has been recognized for his journalism excellence, receiving several Emmy and journalism awards for his work. Now, after 28 years, he's ready to put the camera down, leave the deadline stress behind, and spend more time with his wife Tracy and their children. You had a chance to finish your career on top. Bruce. Welcome to retirement. Bruce, congratulations on your wonderful career. Cheers, Bruce, to retirement. I wish you the best in your retirement. Bruce, congratulations. It's been a heck of a run. You did it all. Rest, relax, and enjoy the new chapter in your life. Congratulations on an amazing career. You've done a great job, Bruce. God bless you, Bruce. All the best, and I know I'll be seeing much more great stuff coming from you. We'll miss you. Congratulations, Bruce. You are earning a well-earned retirement. Happy retirement, Bruce. 
good luck on your next adventure. Congratulations on a great career at Channel 9. Good luck. How about that trip down yeah, memory lane? Yeah, amazing. I mean, I can't believe all those old colleagues. I mean, it was so great to see people from when I started in 95 yeah. who I worked with. And, and uh, I am so honored to have Maureen and everybody coming and, and, and talking about my career. It's incredible. I mean, I, I, this is the second time I watched it and I cried the first time. <laughs> the second time, I'm a little better off. Um, it's funny because, you know, this job is so intense yeah. mm. that I lots of times feel like I can't even remember what I did yesterday. Mm. Yeah. But then there are people that haunt me and that shimmer in my memory. And I think back to them, people like the Korean War vet uh, who was you know, going on crutches down Independence Avenue to the dedication of the Korean War Memorial, to the grandma who uh, was praying for her grandson who was fighting HIV and wanted to get a trinket, a prayer from Mother Teresa. And I got to talk to Mother Teresa and I got a prayer bead for that mom. I mean, so many incredible memories. Yeah, I don't know how many times I've texted you after your stories aired here and said, you know, crying or, or that was great. And what we love about you, Bruce, is not, we know that you're a fantastic journalist. That's evidenced by the people that, you know, saying your praises today, but you, you're a wonderful human, a human being, and that comes through in your stories as well. We can tell you care about the people you cover and this community as well. And that's, that's really what this job is all about. It's about the people and trying to make a difference in people's lives yeah. and trying to make people's lives just a little bit better. Those people-centric stories have been key, but, but let's talk about, you're, you're still a young man. So what is, <laughs> what is next for Bruce What's LeShane? Happening? My, my <laughs> wife, Tracy, uh, retired uh, two months ago. Who's here with it, us tonight. Who's here but doesn't want to go on TV. <laughs> in 39 years, I haven't ever gotten her on TV. Um, and, and she and I are going to do a whole lot of traveling and just have a blast. Oh, that's man. fantastic. Well, you don't be a stranger. We, we hope you'll still be around. You'll still be available and mm -hmm. accessible. I mean, you've taught us all so much about being wonderful journalists, and I know that that experience would pay dividends for the next generation of journalists as well. I love you, Bruce. So, I love, love you. you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Good night, y'all. We'll see you later.